various opportunities. Of course, forward forward two is going to be central in that, as well as quarter circle forward uh, four for, to stop down all this tracking and some of these uh, Jaguar steps that may come out from, uh, from effect. We'll have to see how they go. Rebel base, round one, game one. Let's get it started. Effect with the low poke, trying to keep this life lead. Even life right now, both of them looking for the open end. Effect finding it. Oh my god, wake up, back turn. It's looking really bad for Shin Paolo for this first round. Yo, there's the one, two, two, shifting into the uh, the horse four, trying to find these lows going. The, the throw break is there, no giant swing here. Instead, the heat burst is active, and now you've got to start worrying about all the danger that comes in. Oh, but instead just following through on the cat sense and there's the forward forward two on counter hit guarantees the heat engager two after and that's going to guarantee the round for shin palo oh hop kick yep hop kick coming in and we're definitely going oh missed the kick to the wall but we are at the wall here shin palo looking really good but effect looking to switch sides here shin palo saying no get off me going in the heat and then the two follow up after the heat engager into the political storm, doing so much damage effect on his last legs. But this rage is going to put so much work in the hit wall throw. And these wavings are so clean from effect, but the one, two, two comes in clutch. Just a simple 10 frame punish. Finishing off of that round number two, Shin Paolo one step ahead in the damage because of these early round openers being so devastating. Oh, catching him on the wake up. That's fairly unfortunate. They are restanding, but effect ducking it and getting the punish there. Oh, okay, ah. Uh, you're trying will to. Be, will be the Rob. Spring kick. Connecting. That crowd shab was huge to finish off the rest of Shin Paolo's heat. Now we've got no more access to Heaven Arrow Stance. You're just going to have to use some of your normal tools. The Cat Stance is going to guarantee a 10 frame punch there. Effect trying to back off just that little bit. And oh, there's and the giant. The giant. And we're at the wall. Maybe it'll hit the wall. No. This was enough to kill with, regardless. Solid stuff. Instantly some momentum being gained here on the side of effect. We're looking for some homing moves to try and cut down. Here's these down twos. Oh, an oh amazing effect trying to go for a big hit there, but Shen Paolo reacting perfectly there. Oh. Ooh. Presenting some jabs. 2-2 nice. two, two comes down, but no follow-up. It's cool to see that Shin Paolo is willing to take some of these risks, though, even if he is a little bit negative after, even if he is going to get punished. He's managing just what can punish him at all of these distant moments, especially with some of these clean back dashes. The political storm comes down, down three into Wolf Stance, getting the four low, finishing off. Stand transition, stand transition, stand transition, finishing off mid low mix up, all in rapid succession, and it finishes off the game in his favor. Look at all this. Happens so quickly, and you have to react so in just as quickly in order to play around it. Ooh. I feel like their effect probably was gathering information about how Shin Paolo will play with Lydia. Like I said, it's so hard to tell, especially new character. And, you know, this is the first time we're seeing these two play and just trying to get a feel of what your opponent's going to do. So let's see how effect will adjust and adapt to that last game. Shin Paolo here getting the launch counter hit. All right. Oh, my God. Everything just working out for Shin Paolo. Effect trying to find a way, but the trade unfortunately not working out in anyone's favor there. Giant swing. Are we going to tech it? Yes, we do. Yeah, still evens up the health. I would have said that if not for that forward forward two <laughs> connection. Plus frames, plus six off of the Heaven and Earth two. Going right back for it. The heat dash down three. Shifting into Wolf Stance, but canceling it. This is a huge launch. Going to see how far he can take this here. Key heat burst as well into the throw. Let's okay. What's, what, oh, nice. Colin, uh, unfortunately, it just didn't get up, be able to connect all the way because the rollover. Oh, my God. I thought that was going to pick it up. Yeah, you know? I, I thought that was the a, a, some sort of get up attack put out from Shin Paolo and then yeah. getting exploded with that King Heat, uh, heat Smash. Well, we've got the leg break, but we're okay, getting nice. out of throw. No it. chain throws here. Mm -hmm. Yo, 10 hit? Well, okay. Te we tease it a little <laughs> bit, you know? Just see we if got you're five. paying attention. We got halfway there. Make sure you're awake, <laughs> Okay, effect looking really good here. Seeing the momentum shift. Catch him on a side step. Oh, but the stance is coming into play from Shin Paolo here. But in the heat, oh, nice grab though by effect. This giant swing definitely will be the one to close it out. So much damage. Mm -hmm. And especially on counter hit. Yeah, right? on counter so hit, right, damage. exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Again, it's getting effect getting used to some of these opening round gambits on the side of Chin Paolo. Oh, and the float combo 
getting interrupted before the hop kick was able to finish. A solid amount of damage, but no, you know, no follow up after the spring kick from Jinpalo, netting some pure control back. The striking wolf, it's not going to land. Instead, we're getting down twos and then the full crouch down forward. They're going to guarantee that heat engager. Oh, but the step to call out the the options there. Oh my goodness. Effect, like I said, lab, yeah. probably lab that to see if what he could do it when Lydia's putting on that pressure. You know, you don't want to guess. You don't want to take any of that damage either, right? And the flow into this massive damage. We still have heat on the line, but the hop kicks will do it for the launch here to close that out by Shen Palo. Back three, one plus two. Just frame inputs there as well. Shin looking so, so potent right now. Like, so practiced on uh, on this Lydia, despite her being relatively new, the Shining Wizard comes down. Effect looking to gain some level of momentum, but just getting checked and stuffed. Yet here's a huge counter hit. Gotta find these against Lydia. She's normally pretty weak to things like Crouch Jab, but Effect is looking for something a whole lot more valuable than just a simple punch. Mm. Cool. Oh, nice power crush there. Trying to go for the grab. Nice duck by Shin Palo. But going into Heat, trying to keep this momentum. Oh, but the call out with Heat from Shin Palo. Oh my goodness, the relaunch. That was crazy. You get a full combo if you... <laughs> it must have been caught in midair during the Jaguar step. That's Yeah, tough. he called it He called it out right when it was about to come out. Oh my gosh, Shin Palo. Perfect. A monster taking it with Lydia. Just had every right option there. And make an effect guess, you know. It was a little hard, you know, playing Shimpala playing really fast and mixing it up a lot. So it was Very really hard for Effect to get the bearings of trying to figure out what to do. And even when Effect was finally getting some leeway, Shimpala just always had a really good answer for it. Like right there, that duck into the launch and able to close out that round. Yeah, it's always like playing around like massive risk. Can we see that one more time, production? The the way that you win these games, uh, especially with the amount of options that are available to any Tekken character at any time is making sure that, look at all the water splash. Like, all right, all right Yakushima, you got it. The, it's always by managing like risk reward, even with such low health, uh, such low health and the amount of risk is always going to be so massive, game losing. But you have slightly enough to where Shin knows that he can take the Jaguar sprint low and he can take the Jaguar sprint mid. The only way Shin loses this game is if he gets hit by the Jaguar sprint grab. So you duck, you play to the odds of what loses me the game, and find the appropriate yeah. punish. You just hope that you gamble right, yeah. and Shimpala did there. That's that's key management of risk reward that is absolutely on the forefront of every Tekken player's mind, thanks to that overarching type of uh, fundamental part of uh, fundamental parts of every character that was mentioned at the start of this set, like recognizing that, yeah. I can duck every throw. It also covers the lows. I guarantee a punish after. So I'm going just to play to my outs, play to keep as as calm and in control as possible, and then follow up with appropriate reactions and appropriate tempo of play, which Shin did time and time again with the a bevy amounts of duck throws, counter hit four four twos, and the stance uh, the stance. Uh, 50 50s that he's doing with the mids and low follow ups off of like horse two into or horse three rather into uh, striking wolf four. It's like mm -hmm. so, so nice. Very, very well played Lydia from uh, Shin Palo as he locks in top eight. Yeah.